Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Filipinische Gottesdienst Gemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is November 25, Wednesday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa Salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring, seven angels with the seven last plucks, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass, were standing those who had won the victory over the beast and its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations, who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name, for you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. The Word of the Lord Psalm 98 Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout out with joy for them. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Before the Lord, for He comes, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Gospel Antiphone, remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead you to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reading for today is the continuation from that of yesterday. And yesterday, we were given that warning of Jesus that catastrophes will be coming to this world before the end. No, before the end. Catastrophes, natural and man-made. And in today's Gospel, the focus is on the man-made catastrophes. That is, persecution. Persecution, oppression, threats to those people who would be following Jesus to those people who were living their lives according to the pattern of the life of Jesus. No? 
Time and again, since the beginning of Christianity, persecution has always been there. Massive killings no, of people in the name of faith, in the name of Jesus. The blood of the martyrs flowing, which only strengthened the faith and increased the number of the members of the church. It is a constant battle between good and evil. The good represented by Jesus in those people who are following him will be persecuted by the devil, by the evil one who puts this uh, evil in the hearts of the persecutors, in the hearts of those who threatens and, and, and uh, who, who oppresses. And so a battle between the good and the evil. The evil will not want good to win. The evil one will not allow the good things to persist in this world. And so the constant battle, the constant struggle between these two. And so if we are followers of Jesus, if we believe in Jesus, our faith in Jesus, we have a personal relationship to Jesus, it has its consequences in us. Our lifestyle would be changed for the better, you know? again, patterned after that of Jesus. Our mindset, our principles in lives, they were all changed in the name of Jesus. And there would be some people who will not be accepting that. They will not, they will, and, and the response is persecution. The response is uh, threats, no, or oppressions. It could be our friends, it could be our family members who are not understanding, sabi nga, who are not agreeing with the change happening in us simply because we are following Jesus. The good that we're doing, the principles, and the, the lifestyle that happened to us. Many, many people will not accept that. And that is where persecution is coming in, no? Mm, it's just like, I mean, you know, courting a, a lady, a woman, no? And uh, we, we, we want that uh, uh, person to be our spouse, no? And so we will do everything, no, to, to woo her, to court that person, even if it would mean a change in our uh, lifestyle also. She has something that she wants in us, and if it's not with us, then we will try to have that in our lives. And so there will be a change in us. Changes that could have an effect also on our relationships with other people. No? <laughs> Classical, sabi nga, yung panliligaw nakakasira sa barkada. No? Maybe we will be having less time now with our peers or yeah, less relationship with our family members because of this lady, that kind of thing. And this barkada or these family members will not simply um, accept that, no? So it's a small kind of thing, but you try to magnify that in the sense of the faith, in the sense of relationship to Jesus, and that is where persecution will be coming in. It's not easy to follow Jesus. It's not easy. It could mean our lives. It could mean uh, our deaths, no? Persecution. But Jesus is telling us to stand, faith, stand uh, firm in the faith, to stand fast, holding on to the faith holding on to Jesus, continue doing good, continue following Jesus, continue avoiding sin, no? Again, our um, gospel antiphon, remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. That is our goal, that is our aim in this world, to gain that crown of life, that we will belong to what was being mentioned in the first reading as those people, uh, who have won the victory over the beast and singing new song, the song of Moses, the song of the Lamb, to God no? in heaven. Di ba napakagandang tingnan o napakagandang isipin? And that again is our goal. That is the purpose of our existence in this world, ha? to be in heaven. But to be in heaven is to resist evil in this world by becoming good. No? And I tell you, that good will prevail in the end. Jesus will prevail in the end. That's the good news. That's the assurance that he has given to us. And if we remain faithful and persevering in our faith, it will secure our lives, our lives in heaven. Stand firm and fast, and fast with the faith no, in this world. Stand firm with Jesus, and he will stand firm with us in heaven. Amen. Ipagkatiwala natin sa Diyos ang ating sarili nang may pananalig at umasa tayo sa Kanyang pagtatanggol. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Ang simbahan, naway tumingin sa kinabukasan ang may kapayapaan at pag-asa.
manalangin tayo. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Sa pamamagitan ng ating paggawa ng kabutihan, ang mga hinahamak, mga tinanggihan at mga hindi minamahal sa ating lipunan, naway makadama ng kalinga ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Tayo naway makaroon ng matatag na pananalig kay Jesus na nagbubukas ng ating paningin sa kagandahan ng kaharian ng Diyos. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Ang mga may sakit at mga nagdurusa, naway makita at madama ang mapagpagaling na presensya ng Diyos sa mga nag-aaruga sa kanila. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Ang ating mga yumaong kamag-anak at mga kaibigan, naway pagkalooban ng walang hanggang liwanag at biyaya. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, manatili nawa kami sa iyong pagkalinga. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama naming nasa langit, punuin mo kami ng iyong pag-ibig at pawiin mo ang kadiliman sa aming buhay upang makakilos at makagawa kami sa liwanag ni Kristo, ang inyong anak na nabubuhay at nagahari, magpakailanman. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ngayong araw na ito. Mga kapatid, continue doing good, continue avoiding sin. Be with Jesus in this world, we will be with Jesus in heaven. Father Ron Sandoval, from Vienna, Austria, magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Ciao!